Hi, glad you're here. I'm Kelly Conwisher. I am so glad that you are crushing your 90 day goal together as we life design. This is week three. And this week we are focusing on our goal itself, the goal itself. And we are taking a look at whether or not we have articulated it in such a way that it motivates us, it inspires us to grow, and it's something that we can celebrate achieving in that 90 day framework. This week is just designed to revisit it. Maybe it needs a little tweaking now that you're two weeks in, or this could be an ex exploration to help you think about your next 90 day goal, how you might wanna name that, and making sure that this is an experience in which you achieve the things you want to and reach your goals. So today we're gonna to talk about the SMART goal, the S in SMART, standing for the word specific. Um, and this really is about getting that goal down to something that is super clear and very precise. Uh, so you might have a goal that says, well, I wanna be more like Jesus. I want to be a healthier person. I want to be able to um, promote in my job or, or get a different uh, position in, in my area of expertise in my work. All of those are really great goals, and I think they are things that we all need to be working toward in one way or another. But the opportunity with a specific goal is to really set something that is tangible, that you can name, um, and that's something that you can go for. So for example, I'd like to be more like Jesus. Well, what does that mean to, for you today? Is it something, is there a fruit of the spirit, a specific fruit of the spirit that you want to cultivate right now um, in your life? Maybe it's the idea of kindness. Um, I want to exhibit mercy and kindness to the way that Jesus did. Um, I want to be more healthy. What does that look like? Um, maybe it has to do with an emotional health such as anger or a temper. I want to learn to control my anger and to show up with more grace and understanding. Uh, maybe it's a work thing. I, I want to be able to get a raise. I want to be able to get a promotion. That's great and we want that for you too. Um, well, what does that really mean? Is it going from where you are today vertically into a new position in the discipline you're in, the, the department that you're in, in the field that you're in, or does it mean that you're wanted to jump into a different area, that you'd like to move into a different part of the company or into this field in which you work and so that you can take on a new role altogether? Um, so we got to get specific about what it is that you're working toward. Um, so a couple ways you can do this is to start with that. If, you, if you're starting with kind of a big goal or a big kind of sense that something needs to change, I just start mind mapping that a little bit. So what, what what's behind that? Um, what could you um, narrow down? Like, is there something that can be more uh, clear, precise about that feeling that you have or approaching this process? If right now, two weeks in, now into our third week of our 90 day goal together, uh, you're not really clear if you're on track or not, it's just not specific enough. And that's okay. This is the perfect time to revise and tweak uh, to make sure that you know exactly what that goal can be. So one of the goals I'll share with you that someone has shared with me is um, they, the, the, the feeling that they started the process with is, I just don't like aging. I, I'm scared of getting older. I don't like the feeling that um, I'm losing either uh, my physicality or uh, my ability to remember. I just, the whole process of losing uh, my autonomy and my freedom, it scares me. I don't like aging. And I said, great. What's a goal though around that? You know, what, what can we be specific around what it is that you want to work toward in these 90 days? Is it uh, getting rid of the fear or whatever? So eventually we got down to what it is is, I want to be able to feel, act, live in to the age I am, but the best version of that age. So, and, and this person was 42. So I want to be the best version of 42 I can be. Um, so we started to get, that wasn't the final 90 day goal, but we started getting really specific of, I don't want to be 42 and feel 55. I don't want to be 42 and think I can still do what I did when I was 25. So it, it was being uh, really present about what specific we were doing to say at 42, what is the best version of that I can be? So that that's one example. So um, in all ways, think more specifically, drill it down uh, into something that 
is super clear. If you sh if you pulled somebody off the street and you said, here's my 90 day goal, they would not be wondering what it is in any way. It's so clear. So get specific, get gritty, get tangible with it if you haven't already. If you have and it's not quite specific enough or you articulated it in a way that you're now saying, hmm, I bet I could say that differently. I could say that better. I could say for what it really is for me. Um, then please do that now. Go ahead, revise it. Why not? Be specific. Tip of the day. Uh, keep going. So proud of you. Tell me how it's going. What questions you have about SMART goals. Would love to answer those for you. Kelly at futurechurch.co. And I will see you tomorrow.